Hi, it's Stephen here for Bland Designs, and this is acrylic pouring video number eight in my series. And I'm going to revisit using dish soap. Uh, in video number seven, you will remember the disaster as one person described it. It looked like exorcist uh, vomit. Um, but I was able to salvage the piece. And just to remind you, this is what the final piece actually ended up looking like, which turned out after a lot of trials and errors and mucking about in paint for a while, this turned out. And actually, I like how this did turn out. But if you want to see a really interesting video, go to video number seven in acrylic pouring, and you will see just how much of a disaster that was becoming. So I got thinking about this, what went wrong, and I think several things went wrong. First of all, I wasn't using dish soap. I was using liquid hand soap, and I think the two have different properties. So today I'm going to try with um, this, which is a dish soap, and it is also basically it's Dawn. Um, I don't know if it matters about the brand or not. Um, it is green. I don't know if that's going to have any effect on my paint colors, but we'll see. I'm also going to add a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I have 99% uh, proof. I'm going to use only maybe about five milliliters of this. So I've got my little graduated cup out here for that. And I'm using some really cheap paints again. These paints I just picked up at my local Curry's art store and they were on for two bucks a piece. They're probably past their expiration date or whatever, but I thought I'd give them a shot. And I've probably, I'm not sure about these colors. I've got sort of an orange, a sort of a purpley blue. I've got black and I've got white. So who knows what I'm going to get out of this. I like experimenting with color. Um, I'm not really good with color theory. Um, yeah, I know a little bit about it, but uh, I don't tend to pay any attention to that. Probably I should. So I've got my cups ready for this. And you know in my past videos, yeah, I feel a little cramped in the space where I usually film my videos when it comes to pouring paint. So I have a surprise for you. I have another camera set up over in my the area where I'm actually going to do the pouring. And I'll be able to switch between the two cameras. At least that's my theory. I just got it set up. I've been testing it. So I hope this works. Um, so you'll see what I mean when I get there. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some paint in each of any, one of these cups. I'm going to add about five milliliters of alcohol and I'm going to add just a squirt of this dish soap and mix it all up and then I'm going to pour it. And I'm not going to do a dirty pour. I'm going to pour from each one of the cups individually and we'll see what happens. And I'll have my torch ready as well so we can give it a little bit of torching. So I'm going to go off camera right now and start mixing up my paints and I'll be back in a few minutes to do the pour. Okay, so I have three out of my four paints mixed up and I've put in my white here, I've put in some dish soap and I've put in some alcohol. And uh, when I was mixing these up, I actually put in a little bit more alcohol and a little bit more dish soap in each one because um, I also added more paint than I originally poured out. Um, I didn't want it, I want it runny, but I didn't want it too runny either. I think that's the mistake I made last time. So my paints are all mixed up. Again, the dish soap, the alcohol, and paint. There is no water in this. There is no silicone. There is no flow troll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the other camera and we're going to do the pour. Okay, so this is the new setup for showing this. This gives me more room to work here. And I'm just going to take a look at my computer to make sure I'm in shot, and I am. And I've got my paints mixed up, and I've got my 6x6 canvas sitting on my little pedestal here that uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos. And this is a really cheap canvas, as you can see, because it's got staples all along the side holding it together. came from the dollar store, so if I wreck it, I'm not worried about it at all. And as I said, I'm going to pour, maybe do a swipe, and see what I get. So I'm going to start with the black. I should fill in the spot here. I don't know. And then I think I'll use the blue. not 
seeing too much of a reaction here. And let's repeat with the black. I'm going to save the white for around the edges. There are bubbles in this, but they're, uh, I think those are just soap bubbles. And the orange. And I'm going to pour a little bit more of the orange at the top. And now I've got the white. So the white I'm just going to kind of pour along the edges. Kind of all the way around it. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Okay, now I need something to swipe this with, which I didn't bring over, so I better grab something. And let's see what happens. on this stand here. Well, I think I'm getting mud. Okay, let's just hit it with the torch and see what happens. of a lot. Okay. Oops. Swipe it a little bit more. Some color underneath. I'm trying to get it to peek up here. don't really think my color combination and I think I should have made the paint just a little bit runnier okay I don't think this one's going to work I don't know can I salvage it here we go again with the old salvage thing okay let's see if I can put let's get a paper towel here wipe off my fingers uh, let's see let's see if we can get some blue happening Add a little more white. Definitely not getting any cells out of this. I'm just going to squirt um, a little alcohol, if I can find my inside alcohol. Okay, maybe I'm not going to, oh yeah, I, will. I know what the bottle is, okay. Let's just try adding some right on top here. 
and probably start a fire now. Yeah, basically, fire. Okay, that didn't work. All right, let's see what we can do. This is a lovely mucky little mess, isn't it? The other thing too might be that I really don't know. I didn't check this canvas out that closely to see how well gessoed it was. It probably isn't that well gessoed. And that might make a difference as well. Well, aren't these pretty nothings? I like mucking in it though. Something kind of therapeutic about this, like takes me back to the days, you know, in kindergarten, first time you ever did finger painting. Kind of like that. Okay, let's do a little bit of a, see if we get it to run. Sorry if I'm not in the shot. It's kind of pretty that's down there. I don't know if you can see it. It'll make a nice skin. It's running very slowly. Got a few spots where I've got some bare canvas showing through. Sorry again, this is out of the shot. I don't have my computer in a spot where I can actually see what's happening on screen, so I've sort of marked off my area here, so I know generally whether I'm in the shot or not. Very slow running. Some interesting stuff happening up here though with the blue. So we'll just be patient. Let it do its thing. Let gravity take over. Felt gravity a little bit. Actually, I like what's happening up here. I'd like some of that to come down a little bit more into here, if I can. Got a spot down in this corner where I'm trying to um, trying to get the paint to flow to cover up that bare canvas. And I was kind of worried that my paint would be too fluid this time. And it was pretty much the opposite. Actually, though, I am starting to like what I'm seeing. This is the thing about acrylic pouring. You really don't have a lot of control, and it's a real experiment, and you don't know what you're going to get until it's done. I kind of like the surprise factor. Okay, I am kind of liking what is happening. Just want to get a little bit more of what's happening up here down to this area. If I can. I'm 
sorry, I know you're seeing the back of the canvas here. I don't know if that makes it better. I'm just really just letting it do its thing. I think I'm going to stop. We'll still do a little bit of movement here. Now I think I'll touch up the sides. This little area of bare canvas right in there. may get in the way here. Just taking some of the drips off from underneath. Okay. Well, it's different. I'm going to hit it with the torch one more time just to see. I don't think there'll be anything happen, but. No, nothing. That's what I kind of figured. But, this is interesting. I think I got a little bare canvas right here though. Well, oh, there's a couple of spots of bare canvas up here as well. I think I've got all the areas. Oh, maybe not. See if I can pick up a little bit of the blue. Just touch it down in here. Just looking to make sure there isn't any bare canvas. I think I'm good. Okay, well, we'll see how this dries. And then, once it does, I'm going to leave it overnight. And tomorrow, I will see what has happened and I will let you see it as well. Sorry if my head's in the way. Okay, just let that happen. So again, I used the dish soap, the real dish soap, and that didn't seem to make any difference for cells. But this is kind of interesting. So I'll be back to show you later on what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, it's been 24 hours now, and this is pretty much dry, though I think I'm going to leave it for another day before I varnish it. But you can see, although I didn't really get any cells, maybe a few here and there, um, with the dish soap, I still like how it finally turned out. Um, it's a little darker in color, 
um, but I kind of like that. Um, so as far as using dish soap to make cells, I've tried twice and I think I'll just forget about it. Now one of my uh, subscribers wrote me a very detailed explanation about uh, the properties of paint and additives to paint, which I really appreciate. Um, she talked about things uh, having to do with the thickness of the paint, specific gravity, things like that. So I think I'm going to research that a little further and kind of look into the science of all of this rather than so much the hit and the miss. Although I'm kind of enjoying the hit and the miss because you know me, I like to experiment with chemicals. So anyways, um, this turned out not too bad. Wasn't what I was hoping for, but then again, is it ever? So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have more in the series as I experiment further with other paint additives. Have a great day. Bye-bye.